We always like to say like, you know, this is our story and you're coming into kind of our, my home, our home, when you're having Chai here. These things that we grew up with that were so like crucial and central to our, our lives, like we didn't even think of them as like a brand story yeah, or like, like Yeah, it's funny though. I, I haven't really thought about it. Right. It's just it's just what we grew up with. So yeah, yeah, to be able to like carry that tradition on in like a fresh, you know, way is is exciting. All our chai is made with ground spices that we blend in-house. We're trying to use the best milk as possible, whole fatty milk that really has the texture to it. We use fresh ginger and the, the black CTCT that uh, they use on the streets of India. We're not dressing masala chai up to be something frothy and whipped cream with latte designs because that's not what it is, right? We're giving you chai the same way that people in India take chai. It's not chai tea. Kind of going back to the roots of it and going back to, to the Indian streets and seeing how it was done, um, I kind of got a lot of feedback um, and a lot of ideas on how to do it. Everything on our menu is, comes from something that someone has been doing on the streets for years. identity question um, has been about re reconciling those two um, environments like where your parents come from and where you come from but also understanding where everyone else comes from and, and where their context is. I've learned so much about Jai and people's relationship to it um, and I never thought that it would become like this thing. And I think we're trying to use food as a bridge between like everyone's two homes. This moment from yesterday there was like these the two like you know young women and they were speaking in Bengali and English interchangeably. Just for like two hours, they were sitting right there and they were just going back and forth. It was like Adda at the purest form. It was like, I was like, we did something. Growing up in this country, like we've we've, it's been a rough like it's been a rough time for our family in a lot of ways, and we didn't want our story to go out like that. Have it be like marred with like financial insecurity or like all this like sadness and you know mental health issues and things that happen in like diasporic families. And and I and I have been so focused on like how do you change that entire narrative to have your parents be like so proud and not just so proud that you're making millions, but like you know proud that you're doing something with a lot of meaning behind it. Yeah. And that's huge. So this is not just a cafe. This is not just a brand. This is our attempt to change the entire narrative and the entire conversation, you know, around our family and hopefully set a model, you know, for other people to do the same.